Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. In today's Disney Plus news video, I'm going to be talking about the Oscars. I'm also going to be talking about American Born Chinese. We've got the Disney Plus release date, plus much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button as well. That really gives us a helping hand. And let's jump into it. Just ahead of the Oscars, Disney released a brand new trailer for American Born Chinese and announced that the series will be arriving on Disney Plus on May the 24th. This brand new show, which is based on the graphic novel of the same name, is all about Jin, who is an average teenager who is juggling his high school social life with his home life. But when he meets a new foreign student on his first day of school year, even more worlds collide as Jin unwittingly entangles in the battle of Chinese gods. I think the series is looking like it's going to be a big hit. Kind of has got a lot of the cast that we saw and pick up lots of Oscars for everything everywhere all at once. Obviously with Michelle Yeoh. This one is going to be a lot of fun I think. I'm really looking forward to it. Something very different. I know nothing about this graphic novel. And just be fun to have it on there. We don't know yet if this one is going to be um, weekly or if they're going to do a binge drop. Hopefully it's a weekly one because I think that will give it a little bit more um, scope to go a little bit longer and get more people interested in. But yeah, the trailer to me, it just looks fantastic. I love all these kind of movies and stuff, so I'm definitely interested. But let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Also, just before the Oscars, Disney released a brand new trailer for the third season of Only Murders in the Building, which is going to be coming out to Hulu this summer. It's also going to be coming out to uh, Disney Plus around the world. And in this one, we got our first look at Meryl Streep in the show. I'm really looking forward to this. I really enjoyed those first two seasons. Um, so it's going to be great when it arrives. But yeah, no official release date yet, but hopefully we'll find out that pretty soon. Also, during the Oscars, FX released a brand new teaser trailer for The Bear second season, which is going to be coming to Hulu in the United States and on Disney Plus around the world. I love The Bear. It was one of my favourite shows of last year. Um, looking forward to the second one. It's going to be coming back in June. No word yet on if they're going to be delaying it in different countries and stuff because the first season had a really messy Disney Plus international launch, but it obviously coming to Hulu um, in June. We didn't really see too much in this trailer. It's pretty much just them kind of getting the place ready to reopen. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this one. This was definitely, like I said, one of the big highlights. If you haven't seen this show, check it out. As I said, Hulu, US, Disney Plus around the world. World. But that wasn't the only trailer to drop during the Oscars because Disney released a brand new trailer for The Little Mermaid which is going to be coming out on May the 26th. This is a live action version of the classic film. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, definitely looks a lot better than um, initially saw. It was nice to see some colour because it's a little bit dark sometimes, especially with the posters. Um, it just looks, it's going to look great. I think it's going to be interesting to see how this does. I think it's going to be a huge hit this summer. So I can't wait to watch it. But let me know in the comments below about it. Because it definitely pushed it up on my one to watch. Because I wasn't so keen on it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. There was lots of trailers during the Oscars. But also Disney managed to pick up a couple of um, awards. Um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever picked up the award for Best Costume Designer. While Avatar The Way of Water picked up Best Visual Effects. I'm kind of disappointed in, um, the Banshees of Instrument didn't pick up anything. Or Fire of Love or uh, Turning Red. Disney really kind of took a bit of a beating in terms of what they didn't win. Um, hopefully this will spur them on to make some even greater content in the future. Um, but yeah, so it was definitely all about everything everywhere all at once. Which I did actually watch over the weekend. Um, I love certain parts of it. It was a little bit confusing. But I, I, I can see why I went the way it did. And I'm just really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next in American Born Chinese. But let me know what you think of all of the Oscar news in the comments below. And while there was a lot of focus on the Oscars this weekend, there was also on Friday evening the 13th annual Golden Raspberry Awards, otherwise known as the Razzies. And unfortunately, the Disney Plus original film Pinocchio picked up the award for Worst Remake, Ripoff or Sequel. And also, Tom Hanks also picked up Worst Supporting Actor for his role in Elvis. Not great for Pinocchio, um, it was great for the other Pinocchio, because that one actually won the best animated film um, at the Oscars, the Netflix version, so you might want to check that one out. Really just a show, really, like with Pinocchio, that was a, a film which just kind of, yeah, it was, it was just not needed. And hopefully... This might give Disney a little bit of a push. They're going to put a little bit more effort into this stuff. We've got Peter Pan and Wendy coming up on Disney Plus next month. We've then got Little Mermaid the month after. Um, so hopefully they can do something good with this. But yeah, that Pinocchio definitely was a bit of a stinker. But <laughs> let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Good news as well. If you're in the US, you're able to watch the first six episodes of a brand new series, Kiff. It was supposed to come out on Disney Plus this coming Wednesday. It ended up jumping a bit early on Saturday. They put it out a bit early because it was airing on the Disney Channel on the Friday. And they kind of went into this new next day system that they've got 
in the US. So nice to see a Saturday release. We're going to see a few more of them coming up in the future with this like next day stuff happening in the US. No word yet on when it'll be arriving internationally, but nevertheless, it'll be coming up pretty soon. But let me know if you watched Kif over the weekend. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one in the comments below. And finally, um, one of the big shows that's going to be leaving Netflix next month is going to be New Girl um, in the US. This one is obviously a massive hit for 20 of television. It's going to be coming to Hulu on April the 17th. The interesting thing as well is also going to be going to Peacock. Um, they've sort of split the, um, they're going to be sharing it. New Girl is obviously one of the big hits for 20th century. It's constantly trending here on Disney Plus in the UK and it's also in other countries. But uh, I didn't really expect it to go to Disney Plus in the US because we're still in the zone of this, as I say with Hulu. If Disney are trying to sell it, it's a bit like when you're trying to sell a house. You've, you know, they've got to keep putting up the paint and making it look nice to, tra to attract a new buyer. And that's what I think is going on with Hulu right now. They're still putting a lot of attention on it to try and flog it. But <laughs> that's my own personal thought. Um, interesting as well, they are sharing it with Peacock. Obviously, that brings in extra revenue from them um, because they can get extra money. And so, therefore, they keep it, but they also make some money. Maybe also, you know, the two companies working together is maybe a good sign for what's going on right now. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at what's on at DisneyPlus.com. Please give us a like as well, and that really helps the channel. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.